Hi everybody, I'm John from the Apple Fam, and welcome to our podcast. If you've just stumbled onto this, Apple Fam is a group of people who met watching Doug Benson and Jeff Tate play games on Periscope. We like to get together, have fun, and play games that they play on Doug Loves Movies. This is our second episode where we will finish up the Leonard Maltin game tournament, crown a champion, and learn how hard it is to craft a good DLM game in the process. Apple Fan members Ryan, Drummer Mike, Sip, and Frank are the winners from last week. The whole fam is still here, so Colby, Aaron, Kyle, and MJ are also adding to the fun. We will join the conversation already in progress. If you're listening to this, I think you will agree when I say, We, we love the love 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 movies. movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, yep. though, by the way, John. Jack oh, man, this is a. Christmas present, my uh, mm-hmm. call my time heist hoodie. Hey man, uh, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, I still gotta watch Winter Soldier and the Falcon here. Oh yeah, I yeah. It, you got one yeah. day, so the spoilers will start coming out in a day or two, probably. Yeah. But you know, oh, I figure they might be yeah. all busy watching the uh, Snyder cut. Yeah, oh, yeah, over there's the span still, of four days. <laughs> yeah, they're still <laughs> watching. It's still going on. No, yeah. <laughs> I fortunately woke up for me, I, it was on. Yeah, fortunately yeah. for me, uh, I ended up wa- rewatching like Man of Steel, and then I just got done uh, watching Batman versus Superman. Uh, watching Man of Steel again, I haven't seen it since like it first was released, though, but it's better than I than the last time I watched it. It's decent. Um, is, th- is that the but- one Michael Shannon? is in yeah, yeah he's, he, general he's pretty, zod yeah general zod he's pretty good he's good you know he yeah is. it's not a bad movie i mean no, it's like a revisionist like that view one. of superman but it's still decent mm-hmm. for a dc yeah, movie yeah, yeah i, I prefer that, that one that yeah <laughs> for a DC always got a grade on a curve for a dc movie <laughs> <laughs> diehard yeah. marvel fan coming yeah. at you so i just <laughs> <laughs> that snide little yeah, for a DC movie. Uh, it's okay. I, <laughs> I love DC too. You know, they just need to widen yeah. their universe. They need to keep uh, on keeping on. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. So uh, this so this next round, if we're just moving on to the semis, um, we will throw drum a mic and Ryan at each other. I'm gonna so. be uh, right back. So. Right on. All right. Um, yeah, does anybody need a bio break? Drama Mike, are you, are you a Doctor Who fan? Sorry. Um, I, I have actually only watched like a season or two of like uh what is it? The Christopher Ecclestein, I think. Uh, he's so Eccleston's good. the first season. Eccleston. Yeah. And then um and then David Tennant was the next one, I think. Mm-hmm. That was uh that was like I guess that was as deep as I got. I, I haven't had Netflix for a while, and that was when I was stealing someone's Netflix and watching it. So it's it might be H- somewhere uh-huh. else. It's, it's on HBO Max. Ah, son of a B. I got, oh, yeah. I got it. I got it now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I, I like it. I know the TARDIS and whatnot. I just, uh, I don't know. That's one of the ones that I, uh, I don't know, fell by the wayside. Maybe my band was playing gigs at the time, and I actually no. Had you said to your do. age, and it makes sense because when I was, I, I just I'm, turned twenty nine. I'm forty six, and uh, when I was a little girl in the seventies, I was a hardcore Tom Baker, like just I fell yes. in love with sci fi mm-hmm. as a kid. Yeah. Original Star Trek, you know, Star Wars was just coming yeah. out. It was huge. Like I fell into a sci fi pit, which I think is awesome. Um, but when Doctor Who came yeah. back, it was just like, oh, because it gave yeah. me all my childhood feels. Right. It's the nostalgia. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, I kind mm-hmm. of reached into the Tom Bakers, actually, and um, like the, the Leonard Nimoy uh, Star Treks, because they have uh, all the channels like on Pluto. There's all these different oh, things Pluto. on Pluto. Yes. Yes. So, do. yeah, I lo- love Pluto, love but they, they're kind of one off. So I don't really. Uh, know too much of what's happening in like the tom baker ones but it's really fun because i love practical effects from the 70s and 80s uh i love like evil dead and such so even though you know love sci-fi who doesn't love sci-fi man get out of this world for a minute (laughs) exactly Uh, yeah (laughs) i'm a little guy but i try to go back into the past you know give me a delorean and i will time travel exactly 
Boom. <laughs> um, TARDIS. <laughs> if anybody has a purple rain, I man. A, I, or... I do. I, uh, I have a PRM. I have a PRM if you want to try it. Um, yeah, well, let's go uh, Drummond, Mike, and Ryan. We'll, we'll just kind of keep it moving while Frank's um, okay. doing his thing. Um, so, uh, Mike, give us a, a purple rain, man, for uh, Mike and Ryan. Okay. This PRM is uh, Michael Sarah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's named Mike, yeah. like us. <laughs> Michael, Michael Sarah and John Hurt. Okay. I'll probably need second, but I do know them too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Second build. <laughs> Second build is uh, Judy Greer. Wow. And Lindsay Frost. Lindsay Frost. <laughs> Gosh. Ju- Judy Greer and uh, Michael Sarah are, are in the one. Okay. Mm hmm. Now I don't know what you that second for- one is. You want first build? Um, I think so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Brett Gelman and Bill I'm Paxton. Bill. <laughs> Brett Gelman? What the fuck is Brett, this? Brett Gelman and Bill Paxton. Oh, Bill Paxton. Shit, I know all these people. <laughs> <laughs> Same, I have no idea what movies, though. I... F- I can't, I can't, I'll say my thought afterwards when I lose. (laughs) Brett Gelman's top build in a movie? (laughs) Yeah. I gotta say, I would be surprised if actually anybody got this, because it's actually very hard. (laughs) I I, I, have no idea. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I can get this. (laughs) I... I was thinking an a possible alien movie when I first heard John Hurt, and then you said Bill Paxton. Yeah. And I was just like, "What the fuck?" No, that's, yeah, they're not in the same alien. Yeah. They're not in the same one. Uh, <laughs> one of them dies, and then the other one has a bunch of catchphrases and dies, and the next one. Oh my god! <laughs> one I don't have it. Give up. One, give one up. One of them is definitely okay. One of them is definitely very alien. The first movie is called Lemon. Oh, Lemon. And the second movie is called Monolith. Monolith. That's the one. That's the Bill Paxton. (laughs) Bill Paxton one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I felt like he was in space. Lemonolith. Lemonolith. (laughs) All right. It rolls off the tongue. Should have had it. Yeah. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. He hung up on me, so we yeah. had to it's okay. call again. It's just a pain. Sorry. We just had an impossible winter or uh, the purple rain man. So it's all right. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> the, the elf knew on the third build, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I got a I got a quick one for you guys. It should be uh, gettable, and we'll move this thing along here. So third build. Uh, for Mike and Ryan is Anna Kendrick and James Coco. Coco. Uh, all right, I'll 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 still need second, yep. second build. So that'd be uh, Tucker Albrizi and Sophia Loren. <laughs> Whoa! God, oh man! <laughs> oh, thought I knew the first one. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's that? Uh, so, um, who is it? Sophia Loren and Anna Kendrick, or no? Uh, Sophia wait. Loren and James Coco. James Coco, and then James Anna Kendrick Coco. and and Anna wow. Kendrick and Tucker Albrizi. Oh man, mm-hmm. <laughs> I might have one. Way to go easy on a mic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I mean, John. I'm just... Oh, sorry. I've had this one hanging out for a long time, and th- this first movie has popped up in Purple Rain Man. It seems a couple times. Uh, um, I might need the top. Did he guess? Uh, Did you guess, Ryan? 
I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. Uh, so okay. Top build, top build in this is Cody Smith McPhee and Peter O'Toole. Oh, it's not I, what I, I thought. I got no idea on that first one. Uh, yeah, I'll give you I, a clue. I, I, I give you a clue that it is an animated movie. It. So I'm I'm not allowed to answer, right? I'm not involved in this. I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> right, okay. absolutely not. Because <laughs> I totally know it's what an I'm animated about. movie where she's. <laughs> I know. I'm. Ch- I don't know what that other one. I thought I knew what it was going to be, and then you said another name. Ah, uh, this is. This is bad. Yeah. I totally no know. idea. One's one's a new movie. One's so an old easy. movie. Um, I can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it would have been uh, that. That one was Paranorman of La Mancha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Man of La Mancha. Oh God. Man of La Mancha. Yep. The classic. I just saw that. Would have uh, never Blu-ray. gotten that. It's so funny. Yeah. I saw that Blu-ray earlier today at Barnes and Noble when I was doing my <laughs> shopping. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, you, does does you like me to do anybody, the tagline? No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Do, okay. do let's do something gettable. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no, don't okay. be sorry. Me, me and Purple Rain Man, my kryptonite. Okay. <laughs> so the tagline uh, is. Okay, it's always be hard. Our tagline. Okay. The tagline is, nothing stays lost. Forever. Uh, is it the Lost Boys? No, good guess. Well, hey, thank you. Found them. They're over here. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, well, that movie was over quick. <laughs> Nothing no one, stays lost. No one got. No one got bitten, right? Uh, nothing stays lost forever. I mean, there's a crappy sequel to the Lost Boys, but I don't know. Probably has a. <laughs> Lost Boys to something, something. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Is it Lost in Translation? Yeah. I recognize this tagline. No, that would be great. That would be great, but no. I'm, uh, I'm just, just yeah. using the word lost. Is it the TV show Lost? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, should I start uh, dropping clues? Okay, this movie came out in 2021. Ah, it's from now. Uh, what just came out? Nothing lost. stays lost forever. And you can use my. The, there's something in common with the previous movie as well, as another clue. Okay. Um, what was the previous movie? Yeah. Uh, you'll have to re-listen the to the that- podcast, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh man. Bird. <laughs> oh man. What just came out? What are new movies? Um, <laughs> oh, Would you like to know the streaming service that it came out on? Or is that enough of a, of a clue? <laughs> I might like to know that if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm lost. This movie <laughs> came out in Netflix. Netflix 2021. Nothing stays lost forever. <sighs> Oh. Previous movie uh, was Promising Young Woman. Bad boys for me. <laughs> um, is it? No, no, no. Nomad Land was on Hulu. Oh, Son God. of a nut. That was. Uh... Oh man. So, um... so a lot I'm of people, bl- you, people in the I'm podcast, if, it. if they're listening to the podcast, there's a lot of people with a look on their face like they know. They're getting me. They're getting me in my my non Netflix subscription, but I should still have an idea. Still have an idea. I'm trying to think of like all the the big Oscar movies and the ones that got snubbed. Uh, well, this is 2021, is it, but so it wouldn't be this year's oh. Oscars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. That's true. So let's reverse that. Uh oh man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Netflix. I'm holding you up. Um, 
okay should should i drop another clue this should really give it away yeah i don't know if mm -hmm. i'm struggling yeah. all right the, the thing that's in common is uh the lead actress so there's another new movie that carrie mulligan was in <laughs> uh, nothing <laughs> stays lost yeah, I... ever I'm no sorry, idea. guys. I really thought this would be easier. Um, the movie is The Big. The Big? No idea. Oh, The Dig. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Still... I really thought this would be yeah. No, no, don't be, don't be sorry. I don't have Netflix. That was cool. <laughs> uh, I know. I got oh, one man. more. Do you want to go for this last one? Oh, yeah, might as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, remember your previous movies. Okay. The tagline is can't repeat the past? Of course you can. Can't repeat the past. Of course you can. Primer. <sighs> so we, we got a time travel movie here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Or, or is it? Uh, can't I have a guess, but I know I'm not playing. Yeah, I, I drive. Know. She's in drive. <laughs> She's in the movie Drive. <laughs> Very I, well done. That's not the right answer. <laughs> I, I, it's a guess. <laughs> I guessed. Yeah. I had no uh, idea. Search yourself, you know it to be true. It's, <laughs> it's from 2013. 2013? That's not drive. Uh, uh, one of the co-stars is um I believe Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Oh. So then uh what just happened? <laughs> I was I was flooded oh once, you, once you said Leo. I want to record that sound. I want to record that sound. That <laughs> <laughs> My mouth doesn't move when I do it either. It's just ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say Inception. I don't know when that was from the. Gary Mulligan was not uh, in, uh, in, a, in Inception. Yeah, yeah no, when yeah. she was in with him. Um, yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, mm. She's not in this one that I'm thinking of. She's not in this other one. Tony the Tiger thinks this movie is great. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good clue. Is she in the what? Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> well, famously great. No. She... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the, the Great Gatsby. Oh, yes! that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Woo. Never saw it. Woo. At least it's something yeah. I hadn't seen. Yeah, I think, yeah. That... I think you joined millions of people in that, um, not seeing that movie. Okay. Sorry. I did not think it would be that hard, guys. Okay. No, it's all good. We're moving I don't... along. Yeah. I should have I should have gotten that one a lot sooner. Oh, good. <sighs> okay. So. So Ryan, that means you get the first choice in this All matchup right. with you and Drummer Mike, and we'll try and um, we'll make these progressively a little bit harder with what's left here. Um, so I'll give you uh, I don't speak of your language. Um, I'm afflicted uh, or uh, never heard of them. <laughs> um, I'll go with never heard of them just because I'm curious of what that one is what the that never is. heard of them these are music are uh, movies featuring fictional bands okay mm -hmm. all right and I will even give you a choice oh boy <laughs> I will give you a choice of a movie from 1993 or a movie from 2005. Oh, man. 
Um, um, I know 2005. 2005. Okay. Leonard gives this movie three stars. Um, he says it's a potent drama. Uh, Despite the squalid setting and dialogue, this is a surprisingly old-fashioned, even corny movie at times. The first-time director lets his script and talented actors put it across without resorting to flashy editing techniques. Um, I would also say this movie won an Oscar. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, that should help. And Leonard lists should. nine names. No, should. Um, yeah, I'll go with seven. Uh, I'll go with five. Yeah, five. Uh, I'll go with three. No, I got I got surprisingly limited to nothing right now. So I'll just I'll say name it. Okay. So that was a <laughs> that was a three bid for you, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. So so your three names are Ludacris, also aka Chris Bridges, <laughs> Isaac Hayes, and GJ Qualls. Oh, DJ Qualls. DJ, DJ Qualls in 2005. Down oh, there. Um, oh, it's um, Hustle and Flow. That is correct, sir. <laughs> Why did Good. I only know that because of DJ Qualls? Yeah. Wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> Good job. Hey, I Good will time. stand up for the new guy. That yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah oh, that's God. what I thought of. I was like, <laughs> they have the Qualls funk band. Song. Funk man in 2000. <laughs> I don't think that was 2005, but good good job, Ryan. Uh, so the Oscar cool. was you. for best song, right? Yep. Part that's out here cool. for him. Yep. 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 <laughs> you are correct. Wow. I didn't know that until wow. I did not Very know that nice. period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So does anyone have a game that Frank and Sith would get? Aaron. Yeah, I do. I do. I it's a purple rain man. Imagine that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First movie is Tammy Stronach. Second movie is Colleen Renison. Hmm. No, I need second. second. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett Oliver, Michelle Pfeiffer. Who was the third build in the second movie? Colleen Renison. Okay. Might have to go with the first build then. Yeah, me too. Um, all right. Noah Hathaway and Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's Noah Hathaway, Barrett Oliver, and Tammy Stronach. And I think I know this, oh. Michelle Pfeiffer and Colleen Renison. I, I know the second movie. I know the second one as well, but yeah. I don't know the first one. Ugh. Nobody remembers who Barrett Oliver is. No. Mm. If I told you the movie was from 1984, would it help? 1984. Hmm. A lot of good movies came out that year. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> if you know the second one, it should be, you know, it could help. Hmm. I know the answer to this one, but I can't speak. <laughs> hmm. We're both no stuck. guesses. <laughs> no guesses. Okay. 
Well, it was the never ending story. Oh, story of us. us. Oh, no wonder. Why. Never ending. I hated hate that first movie. Story That's of why. us. The never, never ending, ending story, story of us. us. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry about that. Not working. Yeah. I got a you second have, one that might be yeah. easier. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Kevin Hart and Spike Lee. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. I think I know this. Uh, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle fever. You go, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Very nice. Nicely uh, done. <laughs> that would have been a three pointer, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I only get that when Steve Buscemi's in the film. Otherwise, no three pointers. No. <laughs> wow. Sam Levine on that one. Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't hear you, John. Hey, John. I think you're muted. Sorry, I was. Uh, I muted myself. <laughs> I was saying I. Uh, uh, I'm the same with uh, Parker Poser, Parker Parky Posey, Posey movies. <laughs> Parker Posey. Once they say her yeah. third build, you know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they live in that third them. slot, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. So Frank, uh, you get to choose in this craziness, and <laughs> so we will go with. Um, I don't speak of your language. Uh, I hear he paints houses <laughs> or too close to home. I hear he paints uh, houses. Uh, I hear he paints houses, which uh, you might think, as you might think, is uh, movies with mobsters in them. Oh. <laughs> Not painters, huh? Hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. That's an old phrase I heard. There was a book uh, that was written about that yeah old, uh, yeah old mobster guy oh okay. an italian i know mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> irish based off of yeah oh. oh very cool yep so this movie is from 1990 hmm. and leonard gives it three stars um he says it's not an outstanding film per se but strong cast the new york flavor uh, plus the screenwriter's original and amu amusing screenplay put it over. Um, and the, uh, the, the main actor and supporting actor have a very uh, good rapport. Hmm. And he lists nine names. Okay. I'm going minus three. Oh. Sorry, Seth. <laughs> Took okay. true Sam fashion. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Name it, Frank. Okay, I'm gonna go with Goodfellas, and it's Ray Liotta, De Niro, and Pesci. I am very sorry, Frank. Is it Untouchables? But, nope. Is it De Niro first? Mm, nope. Neither of you have even nailed the movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this movie from 1990 was The Freshman. Oh, oh Matthew Broderick and Brando. Yeah, uh, I knew it was going to be like some twist. It wasn't going to be. I know. I thought it was. Gonna be, I knew it wasn't going to be Goodfellas, but I figured go with it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was. We were both wrong. Just you know. Yeah, it happened. Yep. We whiffed. We were both. Uh, <laughs> uh, top and bottom okay. middle though this is you know you guys are gonna have a good last last round yes 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 so this is gonna put ryan and sith together yeah, so i'm gonna go final... pick up the i'm sorry to interrupt i'm gonna go uh pick up the food though but i'm gonna put it on my phone so i'm gonna just mute myself while i listen to you guys okay we understand yeah so i'm gonna sign back in so Okay, Just so give me a couple minutes. So, uh, see oh, you guys later. Oh, good, Frank. Yeah. Um. So, 
fixing up the Miller if we, Bruno Gerby. If we want, we can wait for Frank to come back in. Or I have well, He's not part of the last game, so yeah. we can just, yeah. let's just go ahead and do it because it's starting to get late. Yep, yep. So this is this will be an easy one um, where there will be a winner based off first guesses. So um, because it came up earlier a couple times, a couple of you mentioned this movie, we will do a weird algorithm. Yeah. Based on the movie The Longest Yard, which <laughs> I believe came up in conversation earlier today, earlier in this session. So with Sith and Ryan, Okay. Who Oof. would you like to pick in a weird algorithm for the longest yard? The 2005 version. Keep that in mind. Hmm. Um, I, I got to go with Sandler. Got to go with him. I was going to say Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do we... Big surprise. Okay. Oh, I can... We can pull another movie up really fast. If what do you what do you say? Okay, I'm I I I didn't watch that version. I'm trying to remember who else was in it. Um, um, by, oops, all cast and crew. Um, by the way, I mean Kurt, Chris Rock. Burt Reynolds, um, Tracy Morgan, Terry Crews, Nelly, Uncle, jo- Uncle Joey Diaz was in there. Uh, Joey go, Coco, Chris Rock mm-hmm. just came out with something so on streaming. So I'll say I'll say Chris Rock. Okay, um, the when we sort by popularity, Chris Rock is. Down there, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. He's number ten, and Adam Sandler uh, re- continues to reign as the the popular <laughs> thing, which really just means Ryan gets to choose last in exactly. the final round of the Leonard Maltin tournament. The uh, spring mental illness tournament uh, the trying not to infringe on the uh, on, on any <laughs> trademarks um <laughs> so um so i will give you as this final category youth will get the choice of uh what <laughs> or too close to home or surf's up, dude. Go surf's up, dude. Surf's up, dude. These are movies that are set in California. <laughs> so he narrows it down. All right. <laughs> Famously. <laughs> Famously set in California. This is a movie from 1958. Oh, God. Which Leonard gives four stars. Uh, it's a haunting, dreamlike thriller with a riveting score to match. A genuinely great motion picture that demands multiple viewings. And Leonard lists eight names. Yeah. Um, let's go eight. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay, uh, five. Name it. Okay. All right. Fifty-eight. Your five names. Yep. <laughs> Nineteen fifty-eight. Right. You pick famous... the category, right? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Famously set in California. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to have four stars. Um, I mean, what do we yeah, end up on? Right. How many names? Uh, five, I think. Right? Five. Okay. Right on. Your five names would be Lee Patrick, Raymond Bailey, 
Ellen Corby, Henry Jones, and Tom Helmore. Those don't help at all. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to guess on what I thought when you said 58. I think it's around then. I'm going to say Sunset Boulevard. Ooh, no. Uh, the, this movie, uh, uh, if I told you it's set in San Francisco specifically. Um, well, Vertigo. Yep. No. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Man. Whoa. So I guess by default, if I had more Matt, names, Matt, I would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, what would be those next names? Um, uh, so after the Tom Helmore, you would get Barbara Bell Geddes. Um, then Kim Novak, and then uh, yeah, the Stewart. famous Jimmy Stewart. Would, Jimmy would you like some Campbell's soup? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I guess uh, that actually makes Sith uh, the winner of the first letter Woo! Malton tournament. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Sith Lord wins. Yes. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Well, the throw joke. I love when <laughs> PJ Miller wins, which is just having people name it, never knowing it yourself. Um, <laughs> I tried that. I tried that with him the round before, and it did not work. <laughs> the opposite <laughs> happened. Yeah. It doesn't always right. pay off, but I right. it's been so much fun. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I think um, mm -hmm. we should definitely do this again, guys. That's um, oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 1, I, 100%. 100 million percent. Thanks for tuning in to the Apple Fam's We Love Doug Loves Movies podcast. Congratulations to Sith for winning the first Apple Fam Leonard Malton game tournament. Tune in to the next episode when we play a more obscure DLM game of casting a movie with Muppets. If you would like to connect and play games with us, check out at WLDLM on Twitter. Be sure to check out the Rough Drafts podcast with Jeff Tate, Trey Galleon, and Troy Tate. If you're here, you should already be listening to all of Doug Benson's podcasts. And for all of Doug's dates and beats, check out DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com. Yeah, caca, wallet, shh, Ted Dancing. Uh. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs>